Hi everyone and welcome to another video that's helping you keeping up to date with all of the latest and greatest NetApp Cloud has to offer. And today I have three special announcements for you. So let's kick it off. I hope everyone here had an amazing summer vacation or at least got a nice tan. Personally, I was in Austria, but our developers continue to work and develop many different features. The first one I'll cover is on Cloud Manager. In Cloud Manager, you can manage different storage endpoints if it's FF or fast system on premises, TVO across the major hyperscaler, or even manage Kubernetes service or storage native services like AWS S3, Blob, or GCS. But from this release, you can also start managing your E-series and storage grid arrays. Starting it. And if we're on the subject of juggling, let's cover drag and drop. Probably know that on Cloud Manager, you can drag and drop to initiate replications. But did you know that you can also create Cloud Backup copies, optimize your storage spend, and start tiering FF or fast system to the cloud, or even install Trident automatically, or even initiate Cloud Sync. I suggest you just start and drag and dropping and see what you got. On the previous release of Cloud Backup, we added object lock support when you're protecting your data to AWS S3. So now we added that support also for Storage Grid, even for dark sites. So just drag and drop into Storage Grid, initiate the backup, and when you get to the data lock policy screen, just remember you have two options. One is governance, where it's just to avoid any accidental deletion, but that setting can be overridden by an admin, or a compliance mode, which means the moment you locked your backup using compliance mode, no one can modify it, no attacker, no stopper, admin, nothing. And we also I'd like to remind you, we're integrating it with versioning. So if an attacker will try to modify your object, modify your backups, it will think he did it because it will create a new version, but honestly, he won't be able to do it. We will detect the change, alert you, and we will revert the backups to the last known code state automatically, like magic. The first announcement. On VMware Cloud, when you provision your environment, you're selecting from different bare metal options that comes with a dedicated compute and storage. Sometimes you just need a small amount of compute and a lot of capacity. Or the opposite, you need a lot of horsepower, computer horsepower, but you don't need a lot of storage. So in that system, your TCO can be damaged significantly because it comes with the linear growth. Not anymore. You can start provisioning external NFS data stores for VMware Cloud on AWS on FSx for NetApp on tap. And this way, you can start growing and scale out or up according to your real needs and control your TCO. And I even have a blog post of a customer that saved over a million dollar a year just by separating the storage from the compute. I'll link it down below. This change makes this use cases a real possibility for the majority of customers. It opened a new world of possibilities. So bring your workloads over. And now for the second announcement. This one is with Red Hat, and you can start provisioning persistent volumes from FSx for NetApp on tap to your managed OpenShift service on AWS. And just in case you didn't know, you can provision persistent storage also for EKS clusters, add NFS and file system during EC2 deployments, create SQL failover clusters, and did you know that FSx for NetApp on tap is also SAP HANA certified? That alone proves the low latency and extreme performance you can get from this amazing file system. And the third and last announcement, you can start scanning SharePoint on-premises using DataSense. That's nice. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It helps spread it to more audiences and help grow the channel. By the way, if you want me to do a specific video and go deeper on a specific topic, please let me know in the comments below. Until the next one, peace.